G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel. The other day um, I was driving up one of my local streets and on the side of the road I found an old Acer LCD monitor. So I thought I'd snag it, look, seeing it was in pretty good shape. And um, yeah, I powered it up and it appeared to work and display a message on, the spl on display saying no signal. So I thought, cool, it works. And so I went looking on the internet for a composite video to VGA conversion box and yeah, I saw um, these advertised and I looked on eBay for one at a decent price and for 27 bucks I bought one of those from a, from, from a seller in Sydney and, and yeah, it came to me um, the other day and and so I rigged it all up and connected connected a composite video source from my digital set-top box and it works like a charm, which I'm, I'm quite happy with. Now this is the uh, VJ conversion box and um, yeah, it just converts any composite video source to a to a VGA computer video signal. I mean these monitors were made to be used on computers but um, yeah, with that box you can make it as turn into a video monitor. My intention on doing that is so I can do away with this um, standard cafe ray tube TV as it is taking up space. As much as I love old CRT TVs, um, yeah, space wise it's not very good. So to save on space, I thought I'd use an LCD so I can make a bit of room down here. Anyhow, it works like a charm and I have connected up my camcorder. So, yeah, works quite good. I can, um, you know, display video on it from any sources mentioned. There are, of course, some drawbacks with me LCD monitor opposed to using a cafe ray to, um, tube TV. Um, with the digital conversion box, um, it tends to clip easily on the highlights, so so that box there looks pretty well clipped. Pointing pointing it to outside, um, the bright parts look pretty well clipped, and the motion's just a little bit jerky as the refresh rate on this monitor. I've got a choice of 60 hertz or 75 hertz, opposed to this camera being at 50 hertz. So yeah, there's a little bit of jerkiness, but I can live with that. Anyhow, it works quite good. I also tried it with my homemade camera because I wanted to put it for a rigorous test displaying um, less than stable video, which this um, camera runs off random fields, so hence less stable video for the vertical scan. So yeah, I hook, I'll just connect this um, video lead to the video output of my homemade camera. Give me a moment. And just opening the lens. I had to adjust the horizontal uh, frequency for a bit more stable picture, but it's working quite okay. Not too bad. Not too shabby for an unstable signal. So yeah, this monitor works okay for testing purposes and, you know, just simply displaying pictures, which is, you know, my general intention for it. So, yeah, pretty good for a free pickup from, sub, from curbside junk. <laughs> of course, these monitors and... Plenty of cafe ray TVs are getting thrown out by the truckload because everyone's getting digital widescreen flat, flat um, screen TVs and stuff. So you'll be seeing plenty of older TVs and monitors on the side of the road waiting to be picked up by those who can put them to good use. And and yeah, I'm quite happy that I can actually that I can actually put this monitor to good use. This monitor, by the way, is about is about 11 years old. It's one of the earlier made LCD screens. It was actually made about 2001. 
still works very nicely so I can it can live on for many years to come and it's useful for my purposes I mean I, a lot of my video stuff's 4x3 standard anyways and this is a 4x3 standard monitor so perfect for my applications anyhow I'm quite happy with the results with my digital conversion box of course this camera I've got hooked via my VCR so I don't put a DC voltage into this conversion box because digital devices tend to go tend to go kaboom on the inside if you if you connect um, DC video that's got a DC voltage level on it from speaking from past experiences with my other digital devices that got zapped from DC voltages but yeah yeah you, you pretty much got to block out the DC voltages from the composite video and have zero volts DC when plugging to digital devices Anyhow, doesn't work as good as with this um with this homemade camera. It doesn't work quite as good as if I was to display it directly on my standard cafe ray TV. But it works good enough to show that it's making a picture. Anyhow, um, so yeah, this will be my new workshop monitor, and um, this monitor here, this TV here, I'll probably be giving it away to the salvos if they'll take it and out I'm happy I can now make way for some more space and have a bit more work area on my bench this is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts Channel signing out